Hi, I'm Perry Young. Welcome to this improvisation. Shake, 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 shake. Thank you so much, Perry Young. Um, so I see that you're uptown in your apartment with your family. Uh, can you just tell us a little bit about what this uh, performance was, how you made it, um, and who is involved? Yeah, yeah, we are uptown. Um, I want to introduce you to my accompanist. Come on over here. Um, this is my uh, youngest. Um, staying safe right now. So what's amazing about this moment is he actually just learned how to play the guitar, like literally yesterday. <laughs> so um, we took a special moment of being, you know, like almost in uh, shelter in place to um, as an opportunity to do things we normally don't do. So he wanted to learn how to play guitar and I just saw him strumming on the guitar and I went, hey, this is amazing. Let's use this in this um, a variety show, which you guys just actually asked me to do two days ago. So it's like, you know, it's actually quite exciting. 
thank you for inviting us here. You know, part of Culture Club's Downtown Variety. Culture, Hub. um, Culture Hub's Downtown Variety <laughs> show. It's pretty amazing and exciting. Yeah. Awesome. And can you just tell us a little bit more about yourself as an artist? Um, uh, yes, actually, I want to introduce my collaborators. Keep going. Okay, anyway, anyway, they just left the room. Um, a little bit more about myself. Well, I, I'm a La Mama baby. Uh, <laughs> just like this guy. This guy's actually a La Mama baby, too. Um, we both, he's been performing at La Mama since almost the day he was born. Uh, I've been performing at La Mama since 1993 with the Great Jones Rep. When I happened to be walking by a theater uh, rehearsal with Ellen Stewart, and she just out of the blue said, hey, you. Do you, do you sword fight? And, you know, of course, if Ellen Stewart asks you if you sword fight, you're going to be like, yes, I do. <laughs> so that's how um, I've been working with Ellen since 1993. I've been in probably over 10 uh, great film productions. And um, it's been an amazing ride. I mean, it's changed my life. Uh, and I don't know if I lost you there, Maddie, but uh, like I'm you're talking about me. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, and I, I've known Billy, uh, the director at Culture Hub, since 1993 when we were rehearsing um, Oedipus, with, directed by Ellen. And we were traveling all over the Balkans, hanging at the back of the bus. You know, quite an amazing experience. You know, we were driving through war-torn former Yugoslavia, Bosnia in 1995, amidst the bombing, you know, people were asking us, the UN at the borders were asking us, what are you guys doing here? This busload of people who are like, you know, um, a carnival, a volleyball show. You know, we had people who had passports from 10 different countries on that bus from La Mama. So um, since that time, I, I learned how to play Shakuhachi, Thanks to Ellen Stewart. She saw me playing the flute once. Um, I think it was in, you, in Egypt. And can you see me? And I was in, uh, in the marketplace with Ellen and, and Ellen saw me playing this nay. And she said, why don't you go learn to play the flute? I want you to learn how to play the flute. And because of Genji Ito, Yuko Suji, who are resident musicians at La Mama, they went and um, it, they you know showed me basically some simple things on how to play the flute. And next thing you know, I'm in Japan studying with a master maker and player, Kenya Sogawa. Thanks to um, thanks to Ellen and Ralph Sandwithson, who introduced me to Kenya. So all that led to me here. I'm a Sakuaki maker and actor. Um, Beautiful. Okay. Thanks so much, Perry, Jet, Sasa, Mora. Sasa and Mora, I know you all were behind the scenes. Shout out. Um, thank you. Thank um, you. Yeah. A pleasure. To our live stream audience. Wait, hold on. Let me, uh, I just have to go check something backstage. One second. Oh no, it's okay. Okay. Um, all set. Okay. So this is downtown variety. La Mama and Culture Hub's first uh, online performance uh, series. I'm gonna be honest, we are a little rough and tumble right now. We wanted to get something out to you this week um, because we feel like it's important to keep uh, being a home for artists to share their work, share their voices. Um, and we're kind of doing that by any means necessary. Right now I'm in Brooklyn, um, I am in my bedroom. And uh, I'm connecting to all these artists via Live Lab, which is a technology. Wait, I, I keep on saying I. I'm Maddie Barbara Bockelman, Maddie Beebe. I'm the Programs and Projects Manager at Culture Hub. Culture Hub is a global art and technology community founded by the Seoul Institute of the Arts and La Mama. And we've been working um, since the founding of Culture Hub in 2009 to figure out how to use the internet um, as a vehicle for cultural exchange and creation and artistic collaboration. Um, we've had to do that in the past uh, with, our, with our international collaborators. Uh, La Mama has a vast, deep international network 
Um, and so we originally started developing Live Lab, which is how this whole thing is happening to facilitate international collaboration. Now that we're all stuck in our homes, uh, it's a little more important to be connecting and finding ways to connect. So this is our, this is, we're just trying this. Um, there, a lot of people say like, oh, this is going to be bumpy, but I think this is really going to be bumpy. And we so appreciate you being here. And uh, just like in a live performance space, we feel you and, um, or at least we'll try to feel you. So let's see how we can do that together. Um, so I think without further ado, I'm going to introduce our next performance performer, um, Tiri Kananuruk, who is currently a resident artist at Culture Hub. Um, and she will be performing, excuse me, while I look at my telephone, microphone check, um, a live sound performance using live microphone feedback and custom programming. She's going to read Brandon LaBelle's rehearsal for a people's microphone. On to you, Thierry. Earth, sky, the road, the mouth, echo. Shall I tell you my name? Shall I speak about the city? Shall I sing a song? Check. One, two, three, check. I'm tired of the popular and the powerful words of the empire in this mount. A to C, all this language hurts my lips, it blocks my throat. I can't breathe, I can't speak. The line to provide the agreement, to call the president, to agitate the message. Henry, Angela, Jen, me, you. Okay. They, them. We don't have much time. They are coming to take us away, to grab the tongue. To disrupt the cow, to capture this flag, to break the wing of the fragrance and the fragile. Invisible body, the possible city, to double voice, to echo the void between to bow and bob, hip and hop, flip, dip, shut the beat. Should we speak about politics? Should we declare or decree? Should we write a new constitution? It's not a crisis, it's a system. Let's do the city, drive across the river to the other side, on the run, easy rider, over the border, the dock, earth, sun ray, echo body, social club, settlement. in the square, in the bar, I see her. with Hank, the classroom, sharing the voice, passing it around, 
with the machine. Counterpoint narrative, the imaginary republic, sense of nonsense. No, yes, stranger language, a dreaming nation, shadow speed for the coming crowd. The sun pour from this machine. This double mouth, minor tongue, speaking of lost object, that open space, that self-government, the barricades, the guard loose, the festival, civil machine, shipwreck, pirate Iceland, to count as the uncountable, to drop in out between to feel the why the square get in let us travel across the country in search of friend shadow bodies stranger nation to cast the word for each other one two three for the unknown, the horizontal of possibility, the soft night of the unknown, darkest dark, between thought, thinking, more, imaginary, to make public life, promptees, civic dream, of flight and grassroots. Weeds, try of the crop, the politic of relation, night birds. Shadow language, crowd lips, ocean tongue, v, g, z. Migrating dream, crowding the mouth, double the body, throw the voice to strip to the order of the power and the powerful to begin. One, two, three. I am you, you are them, they are us in the tree under the star to hide the forest, to sneak under the tongue, a speech of the friends, A, B, or B to A, and back again, forwards, no, pass it around.
Yeah, hi. Hi. Yeah, so first of all, I was going to say thank you so much for Culture Hub and La Mama team to make this possible. So um, as far as I, I kind of have like a frustrating, like, oh, maybe it's the show cannot happen. But then um, with all the team and everyone and hardworking, um, I think it's still make it possible. And um, with the Life Lab and the software that um, from the Culture Hub, may help me to make it possible for the show. And and what is what are you experimenting with in the show? What are the um yeah, what's it about? Yeah, so the show is um let me take out my notes. So this is a good point of um, work from home. <laughs> so you can have your note in on the screen. Maybe let me show you how I set up. Actually, this is my room. This is just, oh, this is my partner, Sebastian. Um, so for the show, um, the name of the show is you are 99% likely to come to this show. And um, it came from the idea of our automate of like live right now, it's like we allow the algor uh, algorithm to let you choose, like to decide, or you may like this with uh, confidence and compare it to the human confidence. Um, we have uh, really high confidence, but we decide to do it to take the chance to take a risk. So I want to I want to compare to machine and human confidence and make a possibility possibility of the improvisation between the confidence of human and the machine. I'm gonna take off the <laughs> speech <laughs> real quick. But yeah, this is um the show. What is the show is going to be? And it's funny that it's called can you hear me right now, Thierry? Yes. Okay, it's funny that it's called you are 99% likely to come to this show because maybe people, what, what, what do you make of that, that it can't be, what's, what do you make of it? Yeah, so I also wrote it, um, the, this name with a really little confidence as a human. Um, I just uh, think that it was funny to see this name and at the end of the day, people cannot come anymore. But you can still do it or come to see my show online. So I guess it's the same. Beautiful. OK. Thank you, Thierry. Um, Thank you so think, much. Yeah. I think right now we are going to take um, what they do in uh, live television, a commercial break. Um, we don't have any sponsored content yet, but um, anybody who wants to hit us up to come sponsor us, we're just going to take a break here. Um, consider it an, an intermission of sorts. Uh, so, yeah, we'll be back in three minutes. Thank you. Oh.
Welcome back. Well, I'll welcome myself back. Thank you for allowing us that break. We are, yeah, we're working it out. Um, welcome back to Downtown Variety. This is our new weekly online live performance series, um, live streaming from various corners of New York City and beyond. Um, this uh, is bringing, it's gonna feature, it's a variety show um, rooted in the downtown performing arts scene in New York City. Um, we're bringing, we're gonna bring, we plan to bring dance, music, theater, new media, AV performance, comedy, and more. Um, we're sort of going back to the roots of La Mama, um, which started in 1961 uh, in a in a coffeehouse style. Ellen Stewart um, had some friends who needed to put on plays, and she gave them a space, and um, and they put on mini plays and all sorts sorts of different stuff, and they just grew and grew and grew um, into what what La Mama is now. Um, so we're trying to bring that spirit into a virtual online platform. Again, I'm Maddie. I work with Culture Hub, which was founded by La Mama and the Seoul Institute of the Arts in 2009 to figure out what we can do with the internet and emerging technologies uh, to use them for connection, creation, and um, cultural and artistic exchange. So next up in our performance, we have John King, who is a dear, dear friend of, uh, of Culture Hub and La Mama and a veteran of the performing arts, not just the downtown scene, but that's where I think he would consider his home might be. Um, John King is a composer, guitarist, and violist. To you, John. Oh, we just lost John. Um, but he'll be back in a moment. Um, first, should we go to Kate or? Okay, let's go to Kate Rigg, um, who is ready. Just one moment while I introduce Kate Rigg to you all. Okay, Kate Rigg is an actor and stand-up comedian, and also the front person for this punk spoken word comedy band, Slanty-Eyed Mama. Her last show, um, Zombie Asian Moms, premiered at La Mama, so some of you may have seen it, and is now being made into an indie concert film. Check her out at katerig.com. To you, Kate. Is it me? I'm so excited. I hope you guys can hear me out there. Um, I'm still drinking my ginger beer. I was counting my rolls of toilet paper. I thought I had 10 more minutes before I went on, but I'm ready for you now. Um, look at this. This is a poster from the Australian La Mama where I performed when I was just a wee tiny, tiny baby oh. in 1993 when I was right. in Australia. No, it was 1992. I was in my college, my college years, I was 18 years old, and this was the poster, I kept it, it's the first professional theater that I ever worked in, so I love you, La Mama, I love you. All right, so, normally, when we're not in quarantine, freaking out, I would be performing with uh, my very favorite musician and fellow Juilliard graduate, Lyris Hung, with whom I have a band called Slanty Eyed Mama, and we would do a song for you, and we would freestyle and get crazy. Well, <laughs> I have one audience member in a in a face mask who's monitoring the live feed, and I have a dog watching me. Get the dog. We'll show them the dog, and that's it. So we're going to do something a little different today. I went on the internet. First, we're going to show you my dog. This is Mr. Pickles. So when you see me performing this rap, I hope we don't have the coronavirus with this <laughs> Dogs can't get the coronavirus, Pickles. You're going to be fine. Dogs can't talk. Take them back. Okay, there he goes. All right, so what we're going to do, since I don't have any musician with me, I went on the internet and I downloaded random drum beats. There's one that sounds like chickens. I know, it's so crazy, right? 
There's one that's just a regular drum beat. I'll play some of them for you before. So I'm just going to kind of play any of the drum beats. But what we're going to do is an old fashioned freestyle. So for those of you who are watching on Facebook or wherever right now, you know the little comments down there? The way I like to do a freestyle is I take five words from the audience. Any word, anything you're thinking of. I don't care. It could be a compound word. Use a preposition. You're at home. Kids, you're studying. You should be, you know, learning your, your EB Strunk, EB White, all of the EBs. Pick a word. Start a random beat and we'll see what the fuck happens. Are they, are they beeping me back there in the control booth at La Mama? This is a downtown comedy show. I should be able to curse and say, Motherfuck this virus and motherfuck racism. My band is called Slanty Eyed Mama, and I don't have time to get into the deconstruction of racial stereotypes, but I will say it is fucking offensive to call it the Chinese virus, and you all should stop it if you're doing it. And if you're not, you should you should bitch slap anyone you hear who says anything like that, okay? We don't need that nonsense, not this year. All right, so I'm gonna start collecting words. My friend in the mask, do we see any words? Not yet. Not yet. That's a good one. <laughs> Panic. Yes. Panic. Confirm. Confirm. That is a very poetic and intellectual word for this time. Not what I expected from you. Confirm. Come on, people. If the, the word isn't in English, it's okay, too. You know, when La Mama called me, they said, will you do some comedy? And I said, um, Donald Trump is the president and the whole country is shut down. There is literally nothing to talk about. Okay, what else do you got for me? I got uh, shopping. Shopping. And toilet. And toilet. Okay, that's it. Toilet. 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 We're taking words on all platforms. Ooh, someone's phone ringing. Okay, so here are the words for this freestyle. Hold on. I hear someone talking in the background. It's very distracting. Shut your face. Shut your face. Hey. Shut your face. Okay, everyone's face is now shut. All right, you see this? Not yet. Panic. Confirm. Shopping. Toilet. I'll just leave it here. Not yet wasn't a word. That was just me you got another, not yet. You got another word for me? <laughs> what, what other words do you have for me? Uh, I didn't mind that. Uh, Why you got to blow up my... This is an old-fashioned freestyle. Could be terrible. Could be great. This is what you get when you call someone with 12 hours notice to do a whole new show. I would like to also, before I start, point out the decoration that I put up for you. You're welcome, America. You're welcome. I will give you the opportunity to preview the glasses here. Let's start the beat so I can think. Can you guys hear that? It's pretty funky. I guess I should just start. Everybody's like, just fucking start. Just fucking start. Here I go. No, time for words is over. Too slow, Facebook. Too slow. Get your shit together. I know your stock price is dropping, but you got to make that shit fast because we are artists. We are downtown. It is happening now. I got to get back to counting my rolls of toilet paper to make sure I'm going to be okay. But here we go. We're going to do a little freestyle. I hope you can hear this. I'm changing to the freestyle glasses. So oh, crazy. Yeah. Here we go. All right. A little, a little pandemic beat for you all in the background. I like it nice and loud, but don't worry. I'll shout the fuck over it. Not yet. Panic. Confirm. Shopping. Toilet. Lockdown. Here we go. Uh. It's a lockdown on my Upper West Side block down. I can't stand the rain outside. Thinking about the droplets of your spittle getting inside my body. What am I gonna do to get through this pandemic? It's an epidemic of the greatest proportions. 
I can't stand the idea that I might have to portion off my toilet paper. Is that one of the words? No, it's not, but I'm panicking. I'm in a full blown Corona panic. I'm in a full blown, leave me alone at home panic. I'm looking at my dog saying, oh my God, you're so fucking lucky. You can't catch this shit. What? Everybody's around on the street with a mask. Everybody's too afraid to ask you to shake their hand or understand that they might want that six feet of distance. Listen, I said not yet. Don't get close to me yet. I'm walking in the park, which soon is going to be over in this epidemic, pandemic, this panic, not yet. I'm not ready to leave the house. I'm just hiding in here and I'm sort of underneath the table like a mouse. Are the droplets gonna fall on me? Are they gonna fall? Am I gonna have to stay on lockdown? How do I confirm the numbers of cases in this town? I can't. So I'm on lockdown behind my mask. Don't even try to ask anyone in the elevator. How's your day? They're like, fuck you. Stay away. Six feet of distance. It's the resistance. You can't even understand this new existence. We are all in together. This corona panic. This don't eat anything from Italy, not even a bologna panic. This Emile Macron is canceling the tax and the rent in France panic, this epidemic. Listen, I can't confirm that we're all going to be okay. No way. I can't. So go shopping and get your masks. Don't ask for permission to stay in this panicked condition. That's my advice. I know it's not nice, but let's not try to pretend that this is just going to end the way the orange fucking idiot went on the TV today to say, hey, it's all under control. Let's just Build a wall against the immigrants. They're the real problem here. No. Suck my dick with that veneer of comfort. It's not going to help. Look, I'm changing my glasses. I can't believe that all these asses, these white guys on my TV telling me not to panic. I'm panicking. It's an epidemic. I got my mask right here just in case you come through the internet to pollute me. No. I'll tell you what. The red, white, and blue is here for you if you're a corporation or you're part of the nation of bankers and people who are rich and Amazon.com not paying their taxes. I'm not supposed to panic. Don't ask me that till you can confirm the number of cases in my beloved city. This is shitty. Hello, kitty. <laughs> If Obama was here, it would be a whole different situation. I wouldn't have to appear at my TV and then change to every station with the same propagandistic message of hope. What hope? This was hope. Do you remember? Now we got an orange dope telling us what to do. Listen, I love you, New York. I love being an artist, and I know that this year is going to probably my, be my hardest ever. I just lost two jobs. I'm in my apartment doing a rap. What is this crap? Yeah, I'm going to panic that I'm going to count my toilet paper and count my blessings and understand that it'll be over soon and that we all have each other, and it actually is going to be okay. But don't tell me not to panic. Uh. That's all. Woo! That's the wrap. I don't have any glasses yet left to preview. Oh, yeah, I do. Hold on. Kate Rig, everybody. Kate, what's yeah, up? What's up? Am I done? You're done, but that was incredible. Um, thank, you. thank you so much for joining us on such short notice and throwing the F down. That was uh, stunning and exciting and liberating, and I was dancing. Um, what can we expect from you next? I saw that it, it says it's a uh, concert version of the, of the uh, show. 
Yeah. That you do it as a mama? Is that is that legit? Is that happening soon? That is not happening soon because I'm too depressed to actually do the work. However, it is happening. And you know what? I lie. I am on lockdown. So we are editing the live footage that we shot at La Mama last year. We shot the show and we're figuring out what to do because we interviewed a bunch of Asian moms about, you know, this is a really weird time to be Asian. I got to tell you in the United States. So I don't, I'm not sure when we're going to release it or how, but I do know that the Asian American kids out there need to feel validated in their Americanness at every turn. And so this movie hopefully will help them. Um, feel some community at a time that I think it's going to be really crucial. I'll take off this jacket. It's too hot in here. It's polyester. My mother taught me better. Hmm. Incredible. Um, thank you very much for having me. And I hope to see you. I hope to freestyle for you again next time. We are blessed to have you, Kate. Oh, I want to send a little shout out to my asylum seekers in uh, Los Angeles, Julio and Freddy's, Te Quieren. I'm sponsoring two beautiful LGBT asylum seekers who are here and terrified because they're in a fucking pandemic. I love you. We haven't forgotten about you. It's all going to be OK. Go and I love the rest Facebook of you, too. Page, fundraiser. Oh, yeah. And if you go to my Facebook page, which is Kate Rigg, and you want to read the story of how I met two beautiful LGBT asylum seekers in a detention center. Yes, everybody, a detention center. I went in one last summer, and it's everything you heard about and more. We popped two guys out of there on bond, and we're helping them um, get a fair trial. That's it, a fair trial and a fair chance. Chance to eat nice food and be people and love each other like we all deserve. So if you want to take a look or just read the story, because there's nothing the fuck to do, um, please go to my Facebook page and be my friend. Hell yeah. So that is katrig.com to, to tune into that story and maybe give a little cash. Um, that's friend, awesome. Be my friend. Be my friend on Instagram. And yeah, Facebook. be Kate's What's friend on Instagram. We need more friends right now. And you know what else we need? Face tape. That's for old people. All right, Kate, thank you so much. We're headed next to, I think, Connecticut. Um, we're going to Westport, Connecticut is what, oh, I don't know, it's, it's somewhere, he'll tell us. Jerome Ellis. Jerome Ellis is a disfluent composer, performer, and writer living in New York City. He, his recent work investigates time, silence, disability, and divinity in the Black Atlantic. His work has been presented by the Metropolitan Museum of Art, La Mama, Lincoln Center, and the Journal of Interdisciplinary Voice Studies. To you, Jerome. Hi, Maddie, thank you. And yes, I'm in Westport. Westport, uh, Westport uh, Connecticut. And hello to everyone who's watching. Um, I want to say thank you for having me. I feel honored. And um, I think I'm just going to read something that I wrote recently, or an excerpt of something I wrote recently it's an essay, um, and the essay is about many things, but one of the things it's about is time. And I, um, in this time we're all in, I've been thinking a lot about time, and I find myself with a lot of time right now <clears throat> because I'm safe, but also time feels much more uh, much more, much more, much more,
a technology like this, like the phone or or streaming that um, the way my my stutter manifests is that um, I have a glottal block, um, which is which is similar to a glottal stop, like in English when we say. When we say uh-oh, at the end of the uh, we make a glottal stop and there's a part of, of the throat that closes. And when I stutter, it's like it's like that that part of the throat closes, but I don't have any any control over it. So but it's funny when I interact with technologies like this, because sometimes it, you know, when you stream things, this you know, the the connection will will freeze or buffer, um, which can happen and which may have already happened in my performance, but also in moments where it seems like something is buffering, it's just me stuttering. Uh, so the stutter is kind of like a buffer that my body goes through. But I will just read a bit of this essay here. Um, The essay is called The Clearing, Blackness, Blackness Music, Blackness Music, Disfluency and the redress of temporal violence. And I'll say before I start that that the word The word disfluency is another word for stuttering. My thesis is that blackness, 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 music, and disfluency are forces that are structured by and that rearrange time. They enact temporal refusal, temporal escape, temporal Temporal descent. They are forces of a perpetual fugitivity. But because thesis also refers to a downbeat in music, my thesis must move, must metamorphose like music. Sound is vibration, a wavering band of energy, endless restlessness. For us, for us, for us, for us to perceive it, 
The sound waves emitting from the source must make our eardrums vibrate. In the souls of black folk, W.E.B. Du Bois begins each chapter with lyrics and a few bars of musical notation from spirituals. With this gesture, he makes the page vibrate. He contraposes the vibratory nature of music with the essentially lapidary nature of writing. As the cover flap to a collection of Juan Jose Ariola's works reads, La escritura fue originalmente cincelada en piedra. Mediante la mano es una incisión del espíritu. Writing was originally, originally, originally ch chiseled into stone, a spiritual incision moving through the hand. So the beat goes on and new theses arise with each laying down a foot, a foot, to ground. For thesis also refers 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 to the stress syllable of a foot in verse. My thesis is that black loops in black music are always black loopholes of retreat. That black music, like black escape, is a never-ending activity and never an achievement. And that when, when the black stutterer loops a phoneme, ma -ma 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 murder, this too is a black loop, black music, black activity. My thesis is that if speech separates humans from other animals, then black disfluency and fleshes the paradox of black humanity. Are blacks humans? The jury is still out on that. And who is on the jury? Further, if speech is a property of the living, If speech is a property of the living, then black disfluency and fleshes the paradox of black life itself. Do black lives matter? If so, why does the phrase need to be repeated and recited incessantly? We live within the veil and the veil <laughs> is ever waving. I think I'll stop there. Beautiful, Jerome. Thank you, Maddie. Can you, so what is this piece? Is this, you're a writer? Is this something that's going to into something else or is this just musings and what's up with you currently? Um, so I'm a composer and um, um, a musician, primarily a saxophonist and piano player. Um, but I, I also write and um, it's a constant 
corridor between my music and my writing. Um, and this is part of a, an essay that is going to be published in the Journal of Interdisciplinary Voice Studies you mentioned at the beginning. Um, and the essay, so the, so the journal, it's um, more of an academic journal, but, and they they pub they had a call for papers for papers about stuttering, um, and I was I had been working on these ideas for a while, and so I I submitted an abstract, and they accepted it, so then I wrote this paper. Um, and it kind of, I mean, as you can maybe even hear, it kind of moves in between um, like more academic prose and lyrical prose. Um, but uh, yeah, that, I mean, that's the first paragraph and it's, it's like, I'm trying to see how long it is. It's like 11 pages long or something like that, or 16 pages long, something like that. How many pages is this? Yeah. 18 pages so it's 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 much longer than that um, but what i find interesting is that uh you know when i write when i read what i've written like when i read it silently um it doesn't take nearly as long as when i read it out loud because i don't stutter when i read silently you know the mm -hmm. writing itself doesn't stutter so i find that interesting um like if I were to read the whole paper, I don't know how long it would take. Yeah. I started wanting, wanting to be like set up with next to a fireplace, laying on a rug with a blanket and just listen to that for two hours. It started to feel pretty meditative and it makes you maybe like listen differently. Um, maybe Thank we should you. do that. Yeah, I mean, we all get our little Netflix fire going. I'm happy to do it another time. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. Cool. Okay. Thank you so much, Jerome. Thank you, Maddie. We are going to do another one of our resets. We are pushing our technology Live Lab, which is the distance collaboration software that we're using to do all of this. You all know what it is like Zoom, Google Hangouts, Skype. We basically built our own for to facilitate artistic collaboration. And we've never done something where all of our technicians and all of our performers are distributed. None of us are together. So we're really pushing it to the max. Um, so we need to reset. We're going to take just a few minutes once again, um, and we'll be right back. Thank you. Go backstage now.
Welcome back, everybody. No, that's that's too weird. I can't I can't do a can't do that. Um, yeah, so we're trying. This is Downtown Variety. I'm Maddie. I work for Culture Hub, which is an art and technology community founded by Seoul Institute of the Arts and La Mama, and we are bringing to you live presently a variety show. Um, curated by both Culture Hub and La Mama and our team and family there. Um, next up, um, we just came back from a quick pause because we're using our new technology Live Lab to make this happen. And it's something. It's uh, We're really pushing it. So um, let's keep pushing it. I'm going to introduce John King, who I did introduce earlier, but um, then we lost him. He is a wonderful collaborator of Culture Hubs. Um, most recently, he's composed uh, for our projects Left Out, Marzipanzi, um, plenty of more to say, but I will let his work go first. He's a composer, guitarist, violist. John King, to you. Thank you, Maddie. Bill. The day is joyful. The day is joyful. The day is joyful. How could this be so? A miracle of time and result made clear. The day is stunning, is stunning, is stunning, is stunning. The day is stunning, is stunning, is stunning. The day is stunning, is stunning. Asking how this is possible. Contemplation of time. And the result is evolving clarity. The day is exquisite. The way is made clear. A deep understanding of time. The clarity has no end, no beginning. 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 The clarity has no end, no. Beginning. Beauty beyond boundless. Beauty beyond boundless stars. Beauty beyond boundless stars in the night sky. Stars in, stars in the night sky. Stars in, stars in the night sky. Stars in. Stars in the night sky, stars in, stars in the night sky. Beauty, beauty beyond boundless. Stars in the night sky. Beauty, beauty beyond boundless stars in the night sky. Beauty. In our cold deserts, the star signs skitter sideways, trees pass, the coastline lightly falls, 
damp down, stream paths through the fresh air, cohabitants, locked and tangled diagonal tongue cages, waiting, 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 in our cold deserts, waiting, 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 in our cold deserts. Thank you. Woo! Thank you, Maddie. Thank you, Fed, Sungman. Flowers. For you. They smell uh, delicious. Yeah, fresh, <laughs> fresh plastic. Yeah. <laughs> John, what is this like? What do you think? What is it like to collaborate using Live Lab and collaborate over distance? I know that you're doing it right now, and maybe you can share a little bit about what it feels like right this second. And maybe also you could share a little bit about, um, yeah, some of your other collaborations, because I know you've done this before. Yeah, well, I think it's really, um, it's really interesting time because it's, it's a challenge as we've discovered, but it's also very inspiring. I mean, things get put together very quickly. Something comes into your mind, you try to do it, and then you, you see what happens when you're in a situation like this. I mean, today I had a jam session with a guy in Buenos Aires. Um, uh, Two days ago, I was doing the same thing with a guy in Brooklyn, kind of the same thing, you know? Um, and uh, so, um, and, some, and some other longer term collaborations that have come up, just this idea of this is what we have, this is what we've got to work with. And um, like I say, it's a challenge, but it's also really inspiring. It brings new ideas to the front of my uh, one's mind. And, um, and you, start, you start delving into those waters um, and uh, it's exciting. I agree. Um, I'm wondering because you're a um, you're a composer, and so I think you're frequently working it maybe in front of a computer and with a microphone. Um, and so I'm just wondering, what do you feel like your relationship to in, to a live audience is in this moment? Because we know that they are there, and though we cannot see you, I think. Um, for me, it's interesting because I, I I can imagine certain people and I start to imagine their reactions at certain things. And in a live performance space, that would inform me and make me act a little differently. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm just wondering, what's it like for you, the, the idea of an audience? Well, I, I think it I think it frees up the, the creator and the performer. To, to do some new ideas. And I think it also frees up the, the listener in, in new ways. I mean, they're experiencing, if you want to be engaged as a listener, as I've done um, uh, with uh, previous performances tonight, you know, you have to really be there. You have to really be present in a, in a kind of a different way than you would be in a, in a, like a, in a chair, in a seat in some theater. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a different experience. It's both more kind of distant, but also in a way more intimate, um, I felt, as an audience member earlier tonight. Yeah. yeah, I feel it too. I mean, I definitely get the sense that we are in people's living rooms and bedrooms, and that's pretty special. Um, thank you so much, John. Um, thank you, Maddie. Yeah. Um, on with the show. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm going to take this moment just to say, um, yeah, a lot of people are struggling right now and a lot of, this is affecting everyone in different ways. Um, and it is also affecting La Mama, you know, La Mama is, is closed to, to, do, to all shows um, for some level of future and, and we need your support to um, remain a home for artists uh, to share their creativity, express themselves, and um, to keep their voices alive during this period. I think um, everybody at La Mama and Culture Hub feel like it is uh, urgent and vital to keep hearing artists and keep seeing artists and yeah, keep learning um, from them. So if you feel so inclined, if you are able, um, or if you know someone who is able, 
uh, please send them to lamama.org um, where you can potentially donate. Uh, it'll go directly to supporting artists and bringing, bringing their work to you in this time. And I hope you feel like that is valuable to you too. Um, okay, that's that portion. Uh, next, we are going to Neil Mergai who is the artistic director of Brooklyn Raga Massive.
Thank you. Thank you, Maddie. <laughs> Thank you, Neil. Um, what's up? How are you? Hanging in there. Hanging in there. My, uh, my 
four-month-old daughter, Leela, her smiles and her, her new sounds that she's making every day are keeping us sane through all of this. So we're just home taking care of her. We've stocked up and we're, we've, we've already been home pretty much uh, for the last week and a half. And we're ready to stay here and ready to, to share more music uh, as much as possible in this way. And really happy to, that you had me on today. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Um, can you share with us a little bit about the instrument you were playing um, and the, yeah, the your, um, you're an artistic director of Brooklyn Raga Massive. What is that? And um, I've already asked this question, but uh, what is that object behind you? Because I think it's a very intriguing object. All right, we'll start with that first. This <laughs> is a light sculpture by my wife, Seema Pandya. Uh, she makes lots of sculptures like this. Uh, uh, we're using wood and different shapes cut out of the middle and having a light on it. She also makes uh, art out of tabla, used tabla heads uh, that have been the backdrops for many Brooklyn Raga Massive concerts. Uh, Brooklyn Raga Massive is a uh, collective of musicians who are rooted in Indian classical music. And we've had a weekly concert series for uh, seven years now and uh, currently on hiatus, but we're looking to partner with, with you guys at Culture Hub and other ways of resuming our weekly concerts from, from people's, from artists' homes and education sessions as well. So please check on our website, brooklynragamassive.org uh, for more details about that because we're really excited to, uh, to bring some more music to y'all because we, we need to share right now. I just had my first... Uh, lesson today teaching i do a lot of music for kids with my group raga kids uh, where we write songs based in indian classical ragas but made for kids and we started that today uh, with zoom for the first time today it's working out good you can get in touch me with me if you're sitting at home uh, with some kids and you're you got time on your hands you're looking for something to do and uh i'm answering your questions in reverse order and That's uh, this is the sitar not just because you sit when you play it. Uh, it's actually uh, tar means string. So there's many instruments all around the world, like guitar, sitar, uh, ektar, one string, dotar, two strings. Sitar has 20 strings. There's that lower layer of sympathetic strings that ring resonantly, sympathetically, when you play the corresponding note on the main string. Maybe you can hear You can hear that resonance coming from the, the lower strings. And uh, right here, this part, this bridge here is actually called jawari. Jawari means to give life to the sound. Um, so it gives it that kind of that, that buzzing quality that makes it so different from a guitar. It's kind of that bumblebee sound in there. That's what I tell the kids anyway. Mm. Awesome. Neil, thank you so much. Thank you, Maddie. Look forward to doing this again anytime. Yes. And I hope you and your wife and your baby are happy and safe as much thank as possible. You. Cheers. I hope everybody out there stays stays safe. Cool. Cheers. All right, y'all. We have one more performance coming your way. Ooh. First, I want to um, shout out just... Yeah, we're using Live Lab to make this show happen. Live Lab was created by Culture Hub um, starting maybe five or so years ago, and we've been developing it over time. Olivia Jack is uh, one of the main coders who's been involved over the years, and we also have Tong Wu, who's now working on it. And as I've said before, we are pushing this technology super hard and also we're pushing our team super hard and so we just really appreciate you guys being here and uh yeah to all the artists and to all the audience who are coming together right now we're learning so much and we are also going to get a lot better at this as we go um and hopefully we can start to share it with you all so you so other organizations other artists can use it too um and we're about to go live to another artist who has started using it. Um, so let's go. We're going live to our last performer of the night, Baba Israel and Grace Galu. Woo!
All right. Peace, everybody. Can you hear us, Maddie? Yeah, we can hear you. Beautiful. All right. Well, we're, you know, things are crazy in the world right now. So as you can see, we've relocated to infinite space. We've, <laughs> we just, we just felt like we can't, you know, we just have to leave. We found a portal to another dimension. We are hoping to make it back. But for now, we're going to hang out here because we found, we found this portal that's taken us to this, just a place beyond time and space. Okay. So we're going to, we're going to, we're going to send love to you from this place that we are. Create some, uh, Let's create some music. Let's just do it. Shout out to Culture Hub. Shout out to Neil. Neil is my friend for over two decades. My old roommate. Congratulations on your beautiful daughter. I'm so happy to hear that she's making these wonderful sounds and keeping us uh, feeling inspired, right? Yeah. Just like your wife's art. Shout out to Seema, a true dreamer. Here we go. More reaction. Yes, I gotta have the passion. I'm a passive grace to add the melody, giving me the rhythm so I can feel with the energy. studio sending energy to you feeling the spirit when i rock through the screen this is live and direct it's actually not a dream let me know with the sound to get on down new york city rocking and wherever in the town that's why maddie's having a drink with some olives i'm in the place when i do because you know i keep it honest i'm modest but i'm nasty with the mic i'm kind of feeling all right but i'm shining bright I'm hanging out with Grace, we giving you the taste of the melody, the energy, and giving you that recipe. So if you're feeling stressed, we can stress together. Feel some pleasure, how we gonna last forever? Isolated in the own rooms, feeling like everything's gonna go to do. But we gonna bring that soul, and realize some things in life you can't control. But that's why you gotta hang tight, but not too tight, cause I don't wanna exchange anything, alright? Yo, we're just hanging in the rooms, hanging in the vibes, and we're rocking it not too soon. Giving the rhythm, achieving the giving the sound. I'm rocking and flowing the rhythm when I'm rocking in the town. So uh, I'm going to pass the mic to Grace to see what she wants to do. And we going to rock, she'll pass it back to me. It's true. I know the big thing. I know the We gotta stay connected. So thanks to Culture Hub, you know I got that right vibe. I'm in the place and I do because I was feeling sad, mad, but not because of live lab. I'm all connected in the place and I'm following my path. To keep creative, I'm a native of the city. I'm looking outside, it's really not so pretty. Actually, it's kind of pretty. There's not many people on the streets. I'm walking around, the people feeling the heat. Give me six feet of space, I'm up in CBS. Getting too close, man, you're making me feel stressed. It's not normal time. It's not time to stand right behind me when we're waiting online. Man, I'm about to cough. 
but it's a wet one, so you can relax and off. Flowing off the rhythm, you see it's not dry. I'm rocking in the place and I'm feeling so fly. Giving the rhythm, achieving the three, but when I know, cause right now Grace and Galu came to give us last of soul. I'm flowing with that one time. Let the melody happen when we rock from the rhyme. So this is a freestyle recital. Shout out to Percy. Percy, catching it when I can do it no person. So it's getting kind of loud, breaking low. Giving you a taste of the rhythm of the flow. I'm reaching through the screen and I'm looking right at you. I'm trying to make connections so I can see your point of view. Yeah, I'm feeling like I'm traveling to outer space. I went to another planet, hanging out with Grace. Yo, you can do it when I saw the floor free. I was kind of stressed, so we hung out with Rick and Morty. And Rick took me to another dimension, where all of a sudden there wasn't any virus mentioned. And for a moment, I released all the tension and felt like enough of this, enough of this suspension. So watch out for Trump and his henchmen. You better do the right thing. You better send some money to all these people around this country and around the world. Share the wealth, every boy, every girl. Feel them the rhythm when I feel the vibe, when I feel high. So grace one more time, let them know how you feel, all right? <laughs> your love for grace. I wish I could see your smiles on your face and whatever your reaction is, but I can see, man. Yo, I'm in the place hanging out. My daughter was hiding behind the curtain. Sometimes life could feel uncertain. This whole situation, it feels like a burden. But I'm going to tell you right now, too many of us are hurting because we feel isolated and we feel like we're all alone. That's why Grace and I are speaking through this microphone to reach you wherever you're sitting inside your home. To realize we're all connected and you're definitely not alone. So connect with us and start to protect with us and feel that rhythm when we do it because we really got to trust in us. Yeah, so we can keep connected across the globe. Listen real close, someone's talking, feel your earlobe. Prick up, I do it when I'm not inflicted and when I do it in a place because I see when I start to depict it. Give it the rhythm when I got that beat. I got that heat, I got that energy. Right now, I'm not really going out on the street unless there's a room for me to vibe one time. My daughter's in the place and now she's hiding because she doesn't want to be on the screen. But that's okay, I feel serene. I'm giving the rhythm when I do it, man. I want to shine just like a beam. Shout out to my whole team. Soul inscribed and we're feeling all right. What should we do? You're feeling good. So we have, we got time to do one more for you, Maddie. What do you think? Yeah, go for yeah? it. We got one more. You want to do some of the guitar? Okay. So we're gonna play a little song for you right now. Grace is gonna dust off the guitar right now. Live and direct from our home zone. So uh you're gonna sing a little something for us? Something to inspire us? Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna make a little beat for Grace. We're gonna get this party started. Once again, shout out to Culture Hub, shout out to Maddie, yeah, shout out to everyone you. for making this happen. It's been a rough, a rough week. You know, it's been a rough week. A lot of us are, are feeling stressed. A lot of artists are rightfully worried about income and resources and all of these things. And our kids are home. If you got kids, or some of us are caring for elders, and like we've got to all of a sudden, you know, some of us are are running, you know, schools out of our homes now and nursing homes out of our homes, and we're doing all kinds of stuff. But um, we're staying creative, and I have to say, this has really given me a big lift today to uh, to just have a moment of creativity. So I'm gonna make a beat, and Grace is gonna sing a song, and then we're gonna talk to Maddie, right? And Scoy Rose, you wanna come in and say something? No. No? Okay. okay. <laughs> I'm not a quarrel, 
Right, you know that we can so big up to every woman and every man and anyone who doesn't identify with a particular gender i'm sending this out my heart is tender right now because i'm feeling so concerned about my people all around the globe but like grace said i know that we can if we have a plan and we can stand our ground in a new way and try to find a new way to stay connected as i do it with the rhythm today so uh grace is on the guitar Bill was on the sitar, and we could travel so far. I think John King was speaking into a mic, and he was singing to a light that shined real bright. And there was a woman freestyle with some words behind her. And when I rock with the rhyme, it turns into a blur. So take all these challenges and all these discoveries and throw them in the bowl and just start to stir. We need some good stew. We need the good crew. We need a good point of view and something that can remind us of who we really are, even when we're distancing. Check it out because I can rock and I'm glistening. Shout out to my man Danny Danko. He said social listening, but virtual listening. Rocking when I do it with the rhythm starts to swing. Let's see what happens when we do our thing. Given the rhythm, I got that. Got the beat when I can rock that. Given the flow with the rhythm when I do when I start to see the side pass. So I can and you can and we can too. Rock it up in the place because we came to rock for you. So thank you for this moment to connect with all of us. This is the moment where we find out who you can really trust. Uh, some people out there sharing some strange things uh, you're getting muted you're getting rebuted don't share some weird stuff online share some practical advice and help people have a good time like Grace's friend who was singing a song how'd that song go again remember, remember? everybody's having a meltdown you are not alone everybody's having a meltdown no you're not alone thank you Ali. everybody's having a meltdown I'm not alone. Everybody's having a meltdown. No, you're not alone. That's right, you're not alone. I can hear my daughter singing background in the back. And that's okay, because she doesn't know I can hear. I hear her feet running. But that's okay. That's how it is to be the child of a young, of a performer. I was the same way. I was hanging out my parents' house, which is the same house I'm in now. That's just kind of how it is. And all of a sudden, I remember my dad would try to tell me to come in and do something, and I would get shy, and I would run to the other room. And that's the tradition, got to have the intuition, the vision when I'm rocking with the rhythm, see what we can do when I'm free. And so I think we're going to do one last chorus and then we'll say hello to Maddie. You know you can't ignore this, like. Okay, I forgot the chorus. Okay, but we're going to say goodbye one more time. We're going to say goodbye to Maddie. Okay, it's so good to be with you. That's the end of the flow. Thank you so much, because it's a freestyle show. Baba Israel, Grace Galu, up in the plot. 
up in the spot. You can find us, make it hot. On social media, all that stuff. I'm showing love, not calling any bluffs. So we gonna break it down all the way down. Sending energy to all my people around the town, around the world, around the vibe. And we're keeping it live. I rock with the rhythm. We do it and rock from inside. Shoot. All right, there we go. It's almost like I got a private concert, but I know that it went to everybody else who wanted to watch too. Good, I'm so glad. Baba and Grace, um, Baba and Grace have taught longtime collaborators with Culture Hub, and Baba and Grace have taught in our uh, collab program, our educational program, um, and that's a program that'll also be coming to you online soon. Baba and Grace, what is happening? I mean, I know you just kind of broke it down for us and told us, <laughs> um, but what what is it like to perform like this? Um, and Baba, I know that you're also doing something pretty damn cool with Live Lab and the State Department. Yes. I know you also want to talk about that, but. Uh, I'm going to let Grace speak to that first, just because I don't think she's done uh, like that many virtual performances, maybe a few. Uh, we did a few when we were actually working for the State Department um, in Mauritius, and we did a couple um, in Peru, right? Yeah. We did one in Peru. So I have a experience with a few virtual performances, um, but this is really, I think it's going to expand it quite quickly. <laughs> the depth of the experience that I have is going to increase exponentially over the next couple months. So I'm really excited that this platform has just been creative and, you know, it's been wonderful. Yeah. And um, I, I, <laughs> I totally agree. And I think, to be honest, I'll say, you know, like a lot of people out there, it's been intimidating. I mean, you know, uh, we have uh, Sequoia Rose, a child in our home. We have an elder in our home. You know, I think for, uh, you know, you know, a lot of us, uh, you know, for, for the most part, you know, I think most of us are going to be OK through this process. But there are those of us who are vulnerable. Um, and it, that's really why we have to be so careful about uh, physical distancing right now. And I, I'm glad that people have been sort of challenging the idea of social distancing. Um, and focusing more on, on the idea of physical distancing because it's a time where we need to feel connected. And I have to say, this is the best I've felt all week. Um, you know, as a performer, as an artist, you know, as a, uh, a producer, as a director, as an educator, everything that I do is based in social gathering and physical gathering. Um, whether it's teaching classes, whether it's doing performances, whether it's directing performances, whether it's producing performances. So this is a big blow to all of us who are live artists. Um, thankfully, I've been, as you mentioned, working in the virtual realm for a long time and find that to be a very viable space for connection. So, you know, I'm thankful uh, for this opportunity and looking forward to uh, just exploring more ways of doing this. Um, I know you also asked about State Department, so I'll quickly say something about that. Yeah, then, please. Yeah, if you have anything else. But Grace and I have both worked as cultural ambassadors um, in Peru and Mauritius and myself in a number of other countries. And uh, we're doing a project currently called The Cypher, which is with uh, connecting hip hop artists in the north, uh, north, north part of Africa, in Morocco, in uh, Europe, in Brussels, in Spain, and in Belgium. Um, sorry, France, Spain, and, and uh, Brussels, and then here in New with artists in New York. And um, basically, it's, it's a project that's connecting hip hop artists, breakers, MCs, uh, beatboxers, DJs, and looking at how hip hop can become a transformative force in communities, and particularly communities who are at risk of violence and at risk of sort of challenges in a social space, how hip hop creates a positive opportunity for transformation. And we just did a successful, uh, my daughter is, as you can see, doing uh, hands behind me. It's like and a that, puppet show. It's okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna accept that because I want her to feel playful and creative right now, so that's all good. Hello, my name is Hand, how are you? I'm doing good. Um, uh, good. And, um, and it, we, we were able to connect with Live Lab in Morocco, in Casablanca. Two weeks ago, I was there on the ground and shout out to Deandra. Um, and and I'm I'm sorry. What's our other technician's name? Who I'm Sangmin. Saying? Sangmin as well was very helpful. So shout out to him too. Um, both of them really made me feel prepared. And we were able to train a bunch of the folks on Live Lab, and we were able to project two dancers on two distinct screens, um, a breaker and a crumper, uh, Raka James and Ken Fury. 
and they were able to choreograph pieces, collaborate, interact. Unfortunately, the performance we were going to do, we, we were going to share our 20 minute piece that we created at a, at a live hip hop jam. Um, but unfortunately, it was uh, canceled because of the virus. Um, so, you know, that was unfortunate, but I was glad that we were able to still make the creative <laughs> connection happening. <laughs> and uh, um, it's, you know, a project we were going to do in our next live connection in <laughs> Sequeiros. <laughs> you either have to come in or leave. You, that's your choice. You want to come in? Yes, I do, but I just, I can't open the door. <laughs> okay. That was the problem. <laughs> Hold on a second. Here. There you go. All right, we, I, you know what? We're gonna have to do that later. We're live streaming now, okay? So, <laughs> excuse me. So um, just to say that we're, our hope now is to turn the May um, event that unfortunately is canceled now in Brussels to a, a fully live lab virtual event. So that's the sort of update on that. Yeah. Um, Beautiful. You know, it was really cool. Is that your phone just like appeared in your hand because it was off and then somehow it turned on and that looked sort of magical. Um, I just want to shout out uh, my my social media is Baba Israel at Baba Israel on any platform and then Grace. I am Grace Face Killer on Facebook and I am Grace Face Killer on Instagram. Different spelling, I can't remember which. You'll find me there. You find Baba. Yeah. Look out for Grace Face Killer, Baba Israel. Look out for Soul Inscribed. You know, stay in touch with us. Similar to Neil, we're going to be offering all kinds of workshops out of our home whether it's beatbox workshops, songwriting workshops, uh, and we're gonna be definitely streaming some concerts and performances from our Infinite Space studio. Uh, and uh, we just send lots of love. Thank you for doing this. It was definitely uplifting. I hope people enjoyed uh, what we had to share and look forward to uh, tuning in and participating again. Hello. I look like I'm look, staring at myself the whole time. Oh God, it's so awkward. <laughs> I think that I think we're out of here. Am I on? Oh my God. We'll edit it out in post. Mm -hmm. Just kidding, we're live. This is all happening. We did it. We have things to work on. We have things to learn and we've learned so much and we thank you so much. This is Downtown Variety, the first of many 
live streams that are going to be happening with Culture Hub and La Mama. I'm Maddie. Um, we have an amazing team who has made this all possible. Sungmin Che, woo! Deandra Anthony, woo! John Garcia, woo! Is this lame? Billy Clark, yes! and many people at La Mama, the entire La Mama family and team, and to all of our artists, um, Perry, Thierry, Kate, Neil, Jerome, John, Baba, Grace. We feel connected and we're gonna keep on making space for connection and artistic uh, expression. So we hope that you will join us next time. And thank you so much for all your generosity and patience so far. Um, yeah, thank you. Oh, these are my curtains. Bye. <laughs>